Hey everyone, John here. Remember last time I installed the automatic, uh, well, the pop-up trunk with springs that popped up the trunk really, really uh, a little too hard, a little too hard for my wife to put down. So I just did an update. I'm gonna be doing an update. I've got these new springs and these are much lighter springs than I had before. Now these springs will enable the car to hopefully go up and just push down a lot easier. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna open these up and let's see if we get a little little better than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk. Okay, you see that? How it popped up really uh, quite hard. What I've been having is when I push it down, it's a little hard to push down and that's a little too hard for my wife. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it with, uh, with these lighter springs and we're gonna see it try to do it a little bit easier than this. So the hard part is just getting it down it's not as easy to get down when I have those bigger springs. So I've got some lighter springs and let's go and check them out. Open this up. Got these from China. I'm gonna put the link below, but look at this. These are much lighter. Let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, so these are the springs right here and they're much smaller than the other springs. I'm gonna do a comparison, we'll show them and uh, hopefully this will fit these struts and we'll be able to do them. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put them right next to the old springs. And as you can see, they're they're the same height, but they're much, uh, it's a much smaller spring in in diameter. So we can go ahead and, uh, and see if this will work. So this looks like it should work. It's just a little bit, uh, you know, it's about half the, half the, the strength of it probably. So let's go ahead and try that. And this was a tip that somebody gave me and we're gonna go give it a shot. Okay. So we're just gonna need a screwdriver and we're just gonna put the screwdriver into the little area right here. And that pops that little clip out a little bit and enables us to push it out. Okay, once we get that done, we're gonna be able to leave that aside. And we're gonna get the other side. Keep your hand on the top of the car so that you can do the rest of this. Okay, so we're gonna just put our screwdriver right into that clip right there. We're just gonna pop it out a little bit and we're gonna push it out as we do it. Get that out, pretty easy to do. Okay, I'm put this out, take that off. Be real careful when we do this because this is gonna be able to come down on you. So you wanna be very careful let this trunk go down just a little bit okay so as you can see we've got the old springs here what we want to do we're going to unscrew this very easily just take those off we have a washer on top so we're going to keep that washer and we're just going to slide that off so we got a washer and the spring that's the old spring old spring and old spring and new spring we're going to Go ahead, we're gonna slide that one on and we're gonna put the washer on. Just fits right on it, just like that. And then we're gonna just go and screw that on. Screw the tip on right there. And you don't, you don't have to like wrench it down. It just does it pretty easily. And that's all that's to it. So now we've got it. We've got one on, we're gonna do the other one and get them ready. And put the new spring on. And look at that, that washer just fits perfectly. It looks like it's actually just made for that. Remember, it's just gonna look like that when it goes on. Okay, so when you wanna put it on, you're just gonna do this. Snap on the top. That should snap on right quick. And then align the bottom. And then you're just gonna snap that on. There you go. Looks like that's on. So now this side should hold up, but you wanna be careful it doesn't fall down. So hold on to it. Okay, very easy. So we're gonna make sure the clips are right. You're gonna pop this side on. Pop this side on, great. Keep your hand up here, hold up the top, snap that on. That's on real quick. So let's see it shut. Let's see how easily it shuts. Okay, here's the test. Now the springs are gonna be the same resistance coming down this way. But let's see when we get to this point where the springs are compressing. Seems a lot easier. So let's go ahead and try that popping up. If I press the button. All right, that's good. If I'm pushing it down, 
much easier to compress. If I hit the button, goes up. Let's get to the point to where the spring is compressing. There it is. Goes down a lot easier. Much easier to shut. Much easier to open. Still the same resistance going down to the spring. But when you get to this lower port part, it just shuts pretty easily. So that makes it a lot better. Overall, I like this new mod, just changing the springs out from these much larger ones. And it seems to make it a lot easier. So it does the same uh, function as the other one, still lifts the trunk up pretty easily. Because I can just go and do this. And if I go ahead and open the trunk, it gives it a lot easier open. So I really think that's good. And I think it'll be acceptable that it shuts uh, a lot easier. And overall, just makes it a better user experience. So please update to the newer springs from this older spring. I'll put the link below. Thanks a lot. Take care. Oh, by the way, these springs are only like $5. I think it was a four or $5 coming from China. So they were really, really small. These are the older ones, but the new springs are only about four or $5. They're not expensive. I'm gonna put the link below and go ahead and like it. If you like this video, please support my channel, like and subscribe. I do many videos, not only on Teslas, but unboxings and things like that. Take care, thanks.